morning, kids. How are you this morning? I'm so glad I get to visit you with a video. I'm sorry I can't really visit you. I miss seeing you at Sabbath school every week. But I hope you're getting to spend special time with your family. This is a different, different way of being and living, and I hope that you get to enjoy special times at home. Well, boys and girls, today I have our new Sabbath School Quarterly. They came to the church and they're ready for you. So hopefully we'll be able to send some to you or um, let you pick them up at some point. But I know you can get your mom and dad to look up the stories on the internet. It's called gracelink.net and there is a website right on the back that they can look at in your old quarterly and they can find the new stories. So I hope you do that. Today I want to tell you the very first story in our new quarterly. It's about Jesus and a boat and some fishermen and some fish. Are you ready to learn a new story, boys and girls? Good, I hope so. Well, our new story is called Breakfast by the Sea. Breakfast by the sea sounds fun to me. You know that breakfast is one of the most important meals of the day. Well, this story is about Peter and John and their friends, the fishermen who went fishing at night. Did you know, boys and girls, that fishermen went fishing at night? Well, it's because when it's nighttime, fish don't sleep like we do. But when it's nighttime, the fishermen can go out in the dark lake and they can put a light out over maybe like a lantern they can put a light over the water and the fish will see what's that what's that and they will come up 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 out of the water to the top to see what the light is and then the fishermen can take their nets and they can throw them out and they can catch the fish and gather them all up into their boat they can empty the fish into the baskets in their boat and then They'll have fish that they can take home and sell and eat, and that's how fishermen get their living. And your parents can help you find pictures of that online even today, because there are people in the world who fish with light at night. I've seen them. It's really cool. So this is what Peter and John and his friends were doing. They were fishing at night. But do you know, all night long, all the way until the sun came up, they did not have any fish. They couldn't find any. It was like all the fish were really sleeping and were not curious about their lights. So early in the morning, they were tired. They were hungry. They were probably getting a little bit cold too. And they were feeling bad because they didn't get any fish to sell. What were they gonna bring home for their families? They came up to the shore in their boat and there was a man way over there. They couldn't quite see who he was. And he said, hello, did you catch any fish? And they said, no, no fish. No, not anything. Well, he said, throw your net again. Throw it on the other side. They all looked at each other. They said, what? You is he a fisherman? Does he know? You go fishing at night. It's daytime already. The sun is up. We're not going to catch any fish. And that's what they told him. No, it's daytime. We won't catch anything. It's too late. But the man said it again. Listen, throw your net on the other side. Throw it again. What? said the men. What? He's a, is he a fish? Maybe he's a, maybe he knows. All right, fine, said Peter. We're going to do it. Well, he got their nets again. He said, one more time won't hurt anything. We'll just show him that we know what we're talking about. They threw their net on the other side one more time. They let it sink down in. And then they started to gather it up and to gather it up. But do you know what, boys and girls? This time, something was different. As they were gathering it up, they started, watch this, they started to feel that actually it, it was heavy. There was something out there. What was it? And as they started to gather it up, they brought it into their boat, and it was, it was fish, and their boat was full of fish. And who is that man, they said. Who is he? They got excited. See how excited they are? With all those fish jumping around 
and swimming? Who is that man, they said. John looked out and he said, I can see him now. It's Jesus. Jesus did it. Jesus, said Peter. I'm going to him. I'm going to him. And Peter jumped right out of the boat. He forgot all about the fish. He just jumped right out into the water. He swam and he pushed and he walked and he got right up to the shore where Jesus was. Thank you. Thank you, he said. Thank you. All of the men were so excited. Peter was very excited. Jesus had filled their nets. Nobody else can do that, can just make fish come where they want to come. Jesus made the whole world though. And we learned that on day five, Jesus made the fish. He can tell them what to do, can't he? Yeah, of course he can. Well, Jesus wasn't done with his surprises for the morning. He was being so kind to his friends, helping them to have the things that they needed. Jesus also had a fire going right there on the beach. He had some bread and some fish for them. And for breakfast, the men didn't have to worry about being hungry. They had full boats in the, in there in, for them to bring home the fish. And Jesus had filled up their breakfast, their tummies as well. Isn't that special? Jesus was so kind and loving to them. And boys and girls, our memory verse last time was how we should love each other, right? Well, this time, it's like that too. Our memory verse says, be kind to one another. When we are kind to one another, that's how we show our love. So your memory verse this time is be kind to one another. It's from Ephesians 4, verse 32. Can you say it with me? Be kind to one another. Very good. Now, boys and girls, you know that we have some special songs in our creation story. And I hope that your family is listening to those. If you do not have those, you can get a hold of somebody that your parents can call or get a hold of somebody at Athelton who can connect you with me and I'll get you those stories because Jesus is our kind and loving creator who made the whole world and that's why he can do everything and anything for us that we need. All right, boys and girls, thank you for joining me for this story time. I'll see you next time, okay? Bye-bye, and I love you. I'm praying for you.